finally here. After years and years of waiting, the Nintendo Wii U has finally made its way to American gamers. While it may not be as groundbreaking as the original Wii, the Wii U's enhanced graphics and wider variety of games are sure to give the PS3 and 360 some competition. So far, I only own three games in my Wii U library. Batman Arkham City, Black Ops 2, and of course, Nintendo Land. And even though I've already picked out my favorite of the free games that I own, I'm going to be talking about Nintendo Land for my first Wii U game review. Once you start the game, you can see how Nintendo has improved in the graphics department. With stunning HD graphics, the Wii U finally makes up for years of the 480p graphics we had to deal with with our original Wiis. While graphics don't make a game, it is nice to see Nintendo finally stepping into HD territory. I give the graphics 7.0 points. The Wii U gamepad also puts an interesting spin on the controls of Nintendo Land. Tilting your gamepad in Donkey Kong Crash Course can make your character move. A single swipe on your gamepad can make a Ninja Star launch in a heartbeat in Ninja Castle. Even your Wii U gamepad can be used to control your point of view in Metroid Blast. Some games on Nintendo Land, and even on other titles, will allow you to play the full game on the gamepad itself. The controls for Nintendo Land are not only good, but actually take advantage of the gamepad's mechanics. I give it 7.5 points. Seeing how Nintendo Land is pretty much a minigame title, gameplay is also a vital part of the game itself. Taking inspiration from The Legend of Zelda, Metroid, and even Donkey Kong, many of the games are fun and reasonable when it comes to difficulty. While the only gripe I may have about the gameplay being some games locked as multiplayer, the gameplay is still fun and addictive. I give it 7.0 points. Which gives Nintendo Land a score of 21.5 points. With good graphics, good controls, and for the most part good gameplay, Nintendo Land seems like a promising title for the Wii U. Nintendo Land may not be the Wii Sports of the Wii U or the Wii Sports of our generation, but it's still a great title for casual gamers and diehard Nintendo fans. While it's too early to say whether the Wii U itself will be as big as the original Wii, I would still say the Wii U can have a lot, lot of fans in the upcoming years. I'm the Black Teenage Geek, signing out.